Hey there, Pisces. Welcome to Divine Conversations and welcome to your monthly reading for June of 2021. Thank you guys so very much for tuning in. So please keep in mind that this is a general reading. Yes, so please take what resonates and leave what doesn't. We could be caught talking to a cross watcher here. So if that resonates for you or if the message resonates for you in that way as a cross watcher, take it. Allow the roles to fit where they fit, okay? Um, also, if you would like a personal reading with me, I am available for that. All the information can be found on the description box below. And if you would like some extra content from the channel, or if you would just like to support the channel, which I am very grateful for, uh, you can do that over on Patreon, patreon.com slash divine conversations. The link can be found in the description box below. And we have all kinds of excellent content there. Um, backlogs like there's a ton of great content including monthly love readings that you will be able to access um, and obviously they're from the past but all of these readings are timeless you know so make sure that you uh, you really work on uh, focusing on the title of the reading that will really help you okay um, let's see let's see let's see okay I can't think of anything else to say so let's just get into your pre shuffle now yet again I'm having to start your reading over. Um, this has happened to me three times already, but whatever, that's fine. Your, your pre-shuffle energy, Pisces, is beautiful. You have the Empress with the Ace of Wands. Now, in the beginning, uh, oh, oh, and then you have the Six of Swords at the bottom of the deck. When I tried to do your reading the first time, uh, what came through is uh, a love, we're talking about love and relationships here. And um, I have the song... We belong together in my head right now. Now, Grant by Mariah Carey. Granted, I did see that. It popped up on my, my, my feed in YouTube. Um, <laughs> ironically enough, it was a mashup. I didn't, I didn't listen to it. I just saw it, and I was like, what the, what the fuck is that? But it was a mashup of WAP and We Belong Together. Okay? <laughs> Which is so weird. However... The we belong together aspect is what's playing in my head. And I didn't see it this way the first time, but now I'm absolutely seeing why that mashup took, um, took my, my, uh, uh, caught my attention. Also, I'm kind of moving through the Zodiac in order this time. And I had just finished Sagittarius. I took a break and I was planning on going, moving to Ophiuchus. But you, Pisces, you came through real strong. And now this we belong together song is in my head. So, okay. You guys are dealing with a relationship that is unacceptable for you. And it's not that you are unacceptable in any way. It is not, I'm just going to be frank, it's not worthy of you, okay? The person that you're in this relationship, okay, let me tell you this way. The pre-shuffle energies to begin with on the, in the first reading that I did tried to do for you. It started with the Eight of Cups to the Ten of Wands at the bottom of the deck. And then I was instructed to pull more. Um, so immediately, obviously, the Eight of Cups represents moving, walking away from something. And I do feel like your partner is walking away from the situation more than you might actually think. And the Ten of Wands at the bottom of the deck represented you taking on too much burden to keep this relationship alive. And part of that message is you have to remember that all relationships that are balanced, healthy, and whole are two-way streets, okay? Equal give and take between, between partners, right? And that's not what this situation is. This individual showed up, oh, oh, oh I'm sorry, I was then instructed to, um, to, take, to get more cards, get more clarity on that Eight of Cups. And the King of Wands came out. But then another card came out and it fell face down. And I didn't look at it until I flipped it over and it was the King of Pentacles. And the Six of Cups was at the bottom of the deck at that time. So what all of this was saying was that the individual, well, you are in an energy of looking for someone that's commitment oriented, that's grounded, that's sturdy and stable, that wants to have a, a committed relationship, wants to start a family, maybe even wants to get married, king of pentacles. But that's not the individual that you are with. That's not the individual that you are connected to. The individual that you are connected to in this moment, they are the king of wands, okay? Sure, the King of Wands can represent selfishness, egotism, uh, self-centered, maybe even narcissism. And I don't want to really speak ill of the individual. I don't know them, okay? We, and I do feel like we are definitely talking about a masculine energy, whether it's in a man's body or a woman's body, it doesn't matter. And I don't want to speak ill of this person. I don't know them, 
Okay, and I'm not trying to I'm not trying to throw shade. I'm not trying to spread hate. But this person is not in alignment with what it is you are looking for or what it is you need in a relationship, and that is why you also need to walk away from this. Now, this was also uh, the six of cups was at the bottom of the deck, and so th yes, this is a soulmate situation, and I believe because it is a soulmate situation, Pisces. You are working extra hard to get this to work, but they're not putting in their end of the, they're not keeping up their end of the bargain. And as I was going down <laughs> the rabbit hole of the bottom of the deck, the queen of pentacles came out and that was you. You are sitting in this queen of pentacles energy. You're also sitting in this empress energy. Okay. But your partner or the person that you're connected to or are with at this time is not in the king of pentacles energy. They are in the king of wands energy. All right. So I say all that to say your overall energy or I'm sorry, your, your pre-shuffle energy right now is the Empress to the Ace of Wands. OK, underneath at the bottom of the deck, you have the Six of Swords. And I feel like your intuition, right, is guiding you to walk away from this relationship, to move away from this relationship, because you are you are so abundant. You are so loving. You are so forgiving. And that's a beautiful thing, Pisces. But it's one thing to forgive. It's another thing to enable also the Empress energy, okay? The Ace of Wands here coupled with the Empress is telling me two things. One, you are being inspired to step full, fully into your Empress energy and move forward from this situation. Six of Swords. Two, you... Oh, shoot. What was the second one? Oh, no! I'm so sorry, Pisces. I lost the second version. Oh, okay. The second part of this is you are being inspired to really step in to the Empress role and to clear your space for an Emperor. And the Emperor did come out in the first half of your reading in the first, the first time I tried to do it. And now the Empress is coming out here. All right. Divine counterparts. Now, the soulmate aspect of this relationship the fact that this person, yes, in fact, is a soulmate. There's no denying that, Pisces, okay? And no, you're not crazy. No, Pisces, you're not crazy, all right? But this is a soulmate situation in terms of teaching you how to love and honor yourself, teaching you how to really be an effective empress energy without allowing yourself to get used up, okay? And I was also picking up that someone, I do feel like someone's coming through for you to, to replace this person right now. Here, look, here's the Ten of Wands again. Okay, someone is coming through to replace this person, but you need to clear up the space for it first before that person can come in. What do we have here? Yeah, look at this. Uh, first of all, I do want to say before we move any uh, move forward, it looks like a storm is rolling in. It's probably going to start raining soon, just so you know. Okay, two of wands, queen of wands, justice, ace of pentacles, Pisces. This is supporting what I was just saying in terms of somebody coming in to replace this person who is in better alignment with you but you have to choose to actually stand in that alignment and do the energetic work and even the physical work to clear the space for that manifestation to come in for you here that's going to bring you justice oh yeah it's about to rain i can smell it um that's going to bring you justice and the offer that you want ace of pentacles the offer of commitment that you want ace of wands again oh yeah and there's some thunder it's coming, y'all. It's coming. And you know what, Pisces? This is actually pretty pretty on point here with your energy because, yes, this could be a storm. Page of Pentacles. This is, oh, sorry, Page of Cups. This is you. Um, this could be a storm, but it's a clearing storm. And the Page of Cups is asking you to reconnect with your sense of innocence and ask yourself, do you really deserve to be treated this way? I'm pretty sure the answer is absolutely fucking not. Never in a million years would you be, deser would you be deserving of being treated this way Ooh, the Hierophant. But you see, this is a really strong lesson for you, Pisces. I just heard this is the end-all, be-all. So I kind of feel like once you move forward from this situation, you will have sufficiently learned that lesson, and now you can be free of this drama, this type of drama even, yeah? All right, Pisces, let's give this five shuffles here. Be independent, Pisces. Be your own badass bitch that you know you are. Okay, five shuffles. One. For my Pisces, it's Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus for the month of June 2021. This is two. Okay, I actually just wanted to say 2019. You might have been in this relationship for that long.
This is. Three or two? Shoot, I lost count. We're going to say this is two. From a Pisces, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. For the month of June 2021, this is three. <laughs> this is four. Ay, ay, ay. Four. And this is five. All right, Pisces, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, June 2021, yeah? Let's cut the deck. Boop. All right. Overall energy for you, Pisces, you have the Page of Wands. The Page of Wands came out for you in your first reading, the first time I tried to do this for you. But it came out in your challenge section for the first half of the reading, and the message there was... The challenge for you is to re-identify yourself, to start this new creative journey, to start this new path of alignment towards what it is you truly want and taking the steps to actually get it, which means removing anything that is blocking you, okay? But this page of wands is also representing a sense of re-identification for yourself, changing the game, changing the way you show up, changing the way you approach relationships, more specifically, changing the way you align with this specific relationship that needs to be let go of, that you need to walk away from. Changing your tune. And it's probably going to come as a surprise to this individual that you're with, but you know what? It's justified. Yup, because underneath the page of wands is the devil. Okay? There is a level of codependency here. And part of this situation is meant to teach you not to be codependent. It's meant to put you in the power of the Queen of Pentacles, who would much rather be on her own than be used by someone. She don't need it. Of course she wants a partner, but she don't need him. She's good on her own. She's got her own thing to handle. She don't need nobody coming up in here trying to, trying to run the thing, run game on her, and take from her without giving back. The devil. Okay, underneath the devil, would you look at that? There's the emperor. And underneath the emperor is the knight of swords. I told you the emperor came out in your first, the first version of your reading. And now the emperor is here again. And the emperor came out in the closing message or potential outcome in the first half of your reading, the first time I did this. And the emperor is, is representing masculine energy. Yes, but he's also representing boundaries. Look at this. The way this is set up right now, the emperor is looking right at the devil and is saying, oh, no, you don't. No more of this. We're setting the record straight here, buddy. You are out of here. I'm also hearing for you, Pisces, this is divine alignment. Some of you may be uh, rolling with the twin flame situation, thinking that the person that you are with is your emperor or is your divine masculine. And I'm not here to dispute that for you, but part of the message that came through in the beginning of this reading, or the first time I did this reading, was that your person, regardless of the circumstances, the person that you're aligned with right now is not in alignment with what you want. And I'm not here to talk shit about them, okay? You, I mean, like, you can say whatever you want to about them. I'm not here to talk shit about them, okay? Um, so I'm just going to say, point blank, well, what it boils down to is they are just not in alignment. You're in the Empress energy, or you're in the Queen of Pentacles energy. You're looking for the Emperor or the King of Pentacles. They are not either of those, the Emperor or the King of Pentacles. And so your own inner masculine energy, okay, your own inner divine masculine energy, if you identify with the Twin Flame journey, is coming forward for you now saying, no, honey, this is not it. Put your boundaries in place because this is toxic, okay? Cut this out, Na, uh, uh, page of swords. I'm sorry, knight of swords, yeah? Here comes the rain. All right, Pisces, let's get further into this here. First half of your reading, first set of surrounding energies. You got the chariot. Yes, ma'am. Now, the chariot came out for you in the first version of your reading, but it was in your overall energy. And what we were talking about with the chariot is you getting into divine alignment with exactly what you want and not accepting anything other than that. Not allowing your space to be occupied by what it is that you want because you're not going to be able to receive it. Okay? The chariot is coupled with the six of wands. Now, 
divine alignment. I keep hearing that for you, Pisces, divine alignment. And I feel like the alignment that you're in is exactly where you need to be because it's going to get you what you want. And what you've experienced in this relationship that you're needing to walk away from has helped you to get there, has helped you to identify who it is you are when it comes to love and relationships. And I feel like you are, you are, you don't really have to change anything about yourself right now other than the fact that you need to clear the space for your true divine counterpart, for your true emperor to come into play here, okay? If you follow through with the chariot, if you follow through with that, uh, Pisces, you will be successful, six of wands, okay? Your divine alignment is correct here, okay? Second set of surrounding energies for you, Pisces. You have the page of cups again. There is Pisces. This is you. And what the feeling that I'm getting from the page of cups here, Pisces, is that um, you need to you need to allow your sense of innocence to shine through because I don't really feel like you've done anything wrong here, other than love this person. It's raining, you guys. Do you hear it? Yeah, this is a cleansing rain. Okay, Pisces. Page of Cups is coupled with Woo! The Queen of Swords. Protect your innocence. Because I do feel like there's a level of innocence here that you have. Okay? Protect that. Don't any don't anyone let don't let anyone tell you you're wrong for going after the things that you want for for clearing the space for your dreams. The Page of Cups also represents the dreamer energy, okay? Yeah, dude, this is a storm, but it's a cleansing storm. It's a healing storm, all right? Your challenge in the first half of your reading, Pisces, is the Knight of Wands. And what I'm feeling for you, Pisces, in terms of the Knight of Wands is your challenge here is to move forward with what you're inspired with, is to move forward with your light work, is to move forward on your path, is to move forward with your activation, it just feels like there's a sluggish energy that you're not feeling willing to go forward. But you've got to be. Do it for yourself, Pisces. Do it for your inner child. Do it for what it is that you've dreamt of. Dreamt of having, dreamt of receiving. Yeah? The Knight of Wands is coupled with the Ten of Swords. Exactly. This is a very heavy energy, Pisces. And I kind of feel like you're a little bit um, swallowed up by the ending of this situation. But you really just need to get back up and just start moving. It will get easier with time as you keep moving forward, okay? Closing message or potential outcome for you, Pisces, in the first half of your reading. You've got the Ace of Pentacles. Yeah, there's some work that you need to do. But honestly, Pisces, I feel like you've been doing the work. And there's already a great, a good a good amount of work that you've completed to begin with, all right? Use that to your advantage. The Eight of Pentacles is coupled with... What did I just say? The Three of Pentacles, all right? You've got a sufficient... You've done so much work just in this relationship alone. I feel like you've learned so much through just this relationship, or maybe this is a cycle of relationships, yeah? But you've learned so much, you've grown so much, you've become so much more powerful. You've grown in power. So you do have the ability to manifest exactly what it is that you want, Pisces. Look at you, sitting here doubting yourself, and then you've got all this work under your belt. Are you kidding me, Pisces? Mm -hmm. <laughs> well. Okay. Let's get into the second half of your reading now. Yeah? First set of surrounding energies for you. We've got the Six of Pentacles. Reciprocity. This is what you're heading towards. The balance of give and take. I'm not asking one to keep tabs. I'm not asking anyone to keep tabs or like, you know, whatever. But remember the obstacles you faced in terms of receiving this reciprocity in this situation and in all the past situations that led up to this, if that applies to you. Okay, uh, the message here is just to keep the energy and the lessons in terms of reciprocity that you gain in the forefront of your mind. Yeah, Six of Pentacles is coupled with well, there you go, the, uh, the Hierophant. And the Hierophant in this situation for you is representing the higher learning. This has been a tough lesson to learn, 
It's been, it seemed unfair at times, is what I'm picking up here. But ultimately, it was a lesson that was needed. And it's a, a, what I just heard is, it's a lesson well learned, Pisces. Okay? So don't doubt yourself. And don't forget that. And don't... Yeah, don't forget that. Don't forget how hard you've worked in all of this. Rewards are coming to you, Pisces. Okay? Second set of surrounding energies in the second half of your reading, you have the Page of Swords. So what I heard here is he's watching you. A masculine energy, an emperor energy. A potential mate is watching you from the sideline. And in the first the first time I did this reading for you, Pisces, I got a very strong feeling that like as soon as or like almost immediately after you really release the energy of this partner that needs to be let go of, someone will be coming to replace that. Okay? So for some of you, this is confirmation that this partner is already in your vicinity. You may already know this person. And they know you well enough, is what I just heard. Page of Swords is coupled with the Queen of Cups. And what they see about you is your compassion, your understanding, your loving, unconditionally loving nature, the beautiful aspects of you that you represent there. But what you need to also continue to do, the other message with the Queen of Pent uh, sorry, the Queen of Cups, is to hold your boundaries. Because just because this person may be coming in, that doesn't mean that you should let go of all your boundaries like that, right? Still maintain your boundaries here. Your challenge in the second half of your reading, Pisces, you have the five swords. And this to me is representing self-sabotage, self-sabotaging self-doubt. Yeah? That's something that you're needing to overcome. That's part of what's making it so difficult for you to, 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 to rise up and move forward. Pull yourself up by your bootstraps. Put on your big girl panties or big boy panties and move forward. <laughs> big boy panties? <laughs> Whatever. You get what I'm saying here. The challenge in the second half of your reading is overcoming the self-sabotage here. Yeah? Which is also represented by staying in this relationship. That needs to be let go of. Yeah? Five of Swords is coupled with the Two of Cups. You have to let go of this relationship. Staying in this toxic circumstance, Pisces, is sabotaging you is taking away your opportunity to receive everything that you're asking for, okay? Okay, closing message or potential outcome for you, Pisces, in the second half of your reading, you have the Knight of Pentacles. All right, so in this healing process of releasing, removing yourself from this toxic situation, take it step by step. Your healing process is not going to happen overnight, okay? Nor does it need to, nor should it, okay? you got to take the steps. Also, this is representing the steps that you've been taking, the path that you've been walking over this time. It's time to move on. No more procrastination, no more stagnation, no more pondering it and wondering if it's the right thing you need to do. It's time to move on, Pisces. Hey, uh, the Knight of Pentacles is coupled with Ace of Swords. You've got the, clar the clarity that you need, that you needed. You've been working with this sufficiently. It's time to let this go. You have all the nuggets of wisdom that you need from this situation. You've learned the lessons sufficiently, Pisces. It's time to move forward, okay? All right. Let's close out this reading here. I want to close the reading out with the Angel Answers deck. So some of you, it's feeling like some of you are, are wanting confirmation. If you have a question, go ahead and ask it now. You can pause the video if you like. Otherwise, we're just going to let the angels close out this reading with Oracle Guidance for you, yeah? Five shuffles. One. Two. Three. Close out this reading for you, Pisces. Four. And five. From a Pisceans, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus for June of 2021. What answers do you have? What closing oracle guidance do you have for Pisces at this time, please, angels and spirit? I think 
I think I want to get three cards. I want to get three cards. So three cards, please, Spirit. Three cards to close this reading out for Pisces. Or three answers. One. Two more, please. Two. One more, please, angels and spirit. And three. Okay. Overall energy at the bottom of the deck, you do have meditation brings answers. So this is guidance for you to really continue to further connect with your angels and your guides through meditation, okay? Clearing your mind. Now, first card we have here is it's up to you, okay? Um, and this is saying to me, you obviously, this is really saying you have free will. You can either stay here and allow your energy to be used up by someone who doesn't value you, doesn't appreciate you, isn't giving back, or you can move forward. You have, second card you have is ask help from others. For some of you, uh, you're asking if you're going to be okay as you move through this transition. Yes, allow your friends and your family, people closest to you, to help you. Okay? And finally, you have don't stop. Don't stop moving forward, Pisces. Please continue moving forward, okay? You've come so far already, and you've made so... You, you have decisions to make, all right? You've come so far. Don't hold yourself back now. Like I was saying, I really feel like you've grown so much in your spiritual awareness, your personal awareness, your mental awareness, your emotional awareness. If you were to stay in this situation now, it would be a hindrance to you. Please, Pisces, do not stop. Do not give up. Keep striving forward to realize what it is that you want in life, okay? All right, Pisces, I'm going to leave it there. Thank you guys so much for tuning in. I hope this was helpful for you. Again, if you would like a personal reading with me, go ahead and check the description box below. Also, if you would like some more extra content, including a whole year's worth of monthly love readings, check out my Patreon, patreon.com slash divine conversations. With that said, I love you guys so much, and I look forward to connecting with you again for our next reading for the month of July. Yeah? Take care. Mwah! Bye! <laughs>